Hi, this is Vanessa from Herbs of Grace Healing Arts, traditional naturopath and author of Metamorphosis, Rituals, Spells, and Natural Remedies for Peri-, Mid-, and Postmenopausal Women, and contributor to the recently published Love Notes from the Soul, Stories of Transformation and Hope. And I'm doing a series on plant allies for the menopausal journey. And today I want to talk to you about linden. Linden is one of those very gentle, nurturing herbs that I love to use as nourishing overnight infusions where you make a strong infusion, a strong tea the night before, and you put... Um, put a, a lid on it and then you let it steep all night long uh, for a good eight hours and then you drink it throughout the next day. That brings a lot more of the minerals out of the plant material. And uh, you only wanna do this with certain herbs that have lots of vitamins and minerals and not a lot of the stronger constituents that you wouldn't want uh, too much of. So um, that's something that um, you want to educate yourself on if you are interested in um, overnight nourishing infusions. But linden is one herb that I love to make that way. And it is an herb that is a relaxing um, nerving. Nerving herbs have an effect on the nervous system. And um, linden just has a, a really gentle, um, nurturing, relaxing effect on the nervous system. So if you're experiencing anxiety, linden can be a really nice herb uh, to use for that. It also is an herb that has some mild effects on um, toning the heart. And so um, it can be helpful for calming um, heart palpitations and in combination with other herbs, it can even be used for things like hypertension, high blood pressure. And so I think about linden for that, you know, really gentle nourishing, nurturing, relaxing effect. Um, also in, um, uh, in Europe, uh, it is known to be one of those herbs that is uh, indicated for colds and um, coughs and uh, respiratory conditions that are related to colds. Um, so that's another way that we can use linden in our herbal toolbox. And there are um, a couple of other things that I like to use linden for and in combination with other herbs. Um, and one of the things is for digestion, um, especially if you combine it with something like chamomile, it can be really good at helping to relieve digestive upsets. And that's something that is not often talked about in menopause, but um, the digestion can really be disrupted from all of the hormonal changes that are going on. And so because we need to make sure our digestion is working smoothly, especially during this time so that we can be assimilating all of the wonderful foods and herbal medicines that we're giving our body, we need to make sure that our digestion is working smoothly. So something like linden can be a good uh, support along with other digestive herbs. And I want to um, talk a little bit about the, the varieties. There's a couple of different varieties of linden. The variety that we're talking about um, with these particular medicinal uh, properties, um, it's the, the European variety of linden. So the botanical name is Tilia, and the European varieties are, are Tilia um, platyphylos and Tilia cordata. So those are the varieties that we're talking about with these particular medicinal qualities. There's also an American variety called Tilia Americana, and that doesn't seem to have the same medicinal qualities. So we're looking at the European varieties. And in Europe, 
uh, linden is also called lime flower. And so that might be another name that you might find it um, listed as in your herb shop. So linden, tilia, platyphylos, and cordata, or lime flower. All right, I'm wondering, have you used linden yourself? And how do you like to use it? What do you use it for? What kinds of experiences and results have you had from using linden? Let me know in the comments below the video. And I really appreciate you liking and subscribing and sharing this with other people that might find it of value. And thank you so much for watching. I look forward to your comments and we'll see you next time.